Hi everyone, welcome back to Gedo with the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 battery replacement guide. Before starting, we need to have the right tools to proceed with the repair, which you can find in the description. The most crucial part of the tablet repair is proper heating to separate the screen from the body. For this, we use a heating pad designed for tablets and mobile phones. On Surface Pro 3, make sure to heat the front side. Select the tablet heating option and leave it till the heating completes. Alternatively, you can use a heat gun or something similar. Once the heating has completed, use a suction cup on the sides to lift the front screen. In between, insert a couple of plastic carbide tools and cut the adhesive around. Be gentle while pulling, there are flex cables attached to the logic board. Now rotate the screen just like you are halfway through to open a book. First we can disconnect the digitizer connector and then follow the LCD connector by undoing the screw. Now to remove the battery, undo one more screw on the battery connector. To lift the battery, you may need some more heating on the battery side. Be careful and apply the heat to release the adhesive from the battery. Again we are using the heating pad but on the rear side, where the battery locates. Now can use a pry tool to lift the battery and cut the adhesive on the bottom. Now you can take out the battery and replace it with a new one. Remove the adhesive protector cover on the new battery and place the battery on the logic board. Plug the battery connector and make sure it seats perfectly on the board. Now let's start connecting the LCD and touch connectors to the logic board. First plug in the LCD connector and insert the screw then followed by the digitized connector.
sure the connection is secured. Also, do not forget to add the screw on the battery connector. Now to clamp up the Surface Pro 3, first ensure it has enough glue on it. If not, you can use B7000 glue or something similar. Slide in the top section first and then follow the bottom. Then simultaneously click sides and the bottom. Just make sure to put pressure on the frame sides. It is useful if you can use screen bonding clips to tighten the screen to the frame. Hope you have enjoyed the repair guide. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.